Reynolds out of the back row, not down. Here's Pierce. Got the hands and the kill. And that puts her in double digits with 10. Match point here for the Big Red. Serve is long. Match point number two. And the service error will do it, and Nebraska sweeps the spring match against Denver. Impressive performance for John Cook and the Huskers is they win it in the sweep. The team hit 446 for the match. Wow. Just an incredible offensive performance. And again, very balanced. We talked about really diversifying the offense. Um, he, he had Krause with 12, Merritt with 10, Pierce with 10, and, and Middles got involved as well. Seven for Jackson and five for Alex. So uh, uh, all around offensive high performance today. Convincing fashion for Nebraska, 13, 12, and 15. The final in the three sets. Great afternoon for Lindsey Krause who finishes Getting 417 with 12 kills. You know, sitting out really makes you hungry. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and she's coming out, and, and she also knows this is her senior year. Yeah. And, and I don't want to not leave everything out on the court, not do my best, but today was an outstanding performance. Um, incredible stats, as we mentioned, 12 kills, hitting 417. Welcome, Lindsay. Hi. <laughs> hey, it's great to see you back on the court. Oh, thank you. It's great to be back out here. <laughs> I bet it is. Talk about the road back, what that's been like for you. Uh, it was long and hard, but, you know, I came into the gym every single day uh, just wanting to be here and wanting to enjoy, you know, my last senior season. And every single one of my teammates and staff members and coaches, they made me, you know, want it and love it even more. And uh, I think having to sit that time out really just showed me how much I miss the sport and how much I love doing it. So to be back just felt amazing. Talk about the energy here today, too. Coming to Kearney, taking the show on the road. But again, what a great reception here in Kearney and, and a fun and, a, and energized crowd. Yeah, I think it's really cool for us to get to come in to UNK's facilities. I think uh, it just shows the culture of Nebraska volleyball and, you know, just the state of Nebraska and how much we love and support each other programs, no matter the division, you know, D1, D2, NAIA, everybody loves and supports each other. So to have this support from the UNK, um, you know, facility and environment. It was really special for us. And to have this turnout was, you know, very cool. Lindsay, do you feel like you're all the way back? Are you part of the way back? Kind of where are you in your progression of getting back to where you want to be? You know, uh, it's, it's not a straight line progression of getting better, but uh, I've had a really big goals with my strength coach, Brian, and Jolene, our trainer. So just to have weekly goals to get back one week at a time. And, you know, there hasn't been a week where I hasn't met that weekly goal. So I think every week we're just getting better and better. And I don't really know where my ceiling is, and hopefully I'm not there yet. It was great to see you back on the court. Thanks. Thank you. you great match. Let's talk a little bit about Merritt. She was outstanding as well. Ten kills for Beeson at 4-12. You know, captain, she, re she yeah. really leads this team, obviously statistically, but I think she brings so much more to this this program with her, her mentality and how she really um, takes this team to that next level with her leadership. Joined now by Lainey Chilboy. Lainey, you bring an energy to the floor that is contagious and infectious and so fun to watch. Where does that come from? Um, you know, I've always kind of been like that, but it's really easy to celebrate my teammates every day in practice. Um, so then it just falls into the game because they're so amazing each and every day. So it's so easy for me to celebrate them. So talk about it again. You got the, the libero jersey on here in this. Uh, how fun is that to be out there? And again, your responsibility to just step in and take more balls and just be that aggressive player that we just see come out of you. Yeah, so obviously, like, last year was my first year being a DS, but every day in practice, I'm playing libero on the other side against these amazing hitters. 
so it makes a pretty easy transition when I have to put on the jersey and go on the court and play libero. So um, I would really want to give credit to my teammates. They hit really hard at me every day in practice, so I have to go get <laughs> all the balls and, you know, yeah. Ladies, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Nebraska, Nebraska uh, players <laughs> addressing the crowd here in Kearney, and now John Cook. Well, let's listen in. I want to echo what the girls said. Thank you for coming out. I got a really cool belt buckle last night, so I, I don't care if we won or lost today. I got a new belt buckle. So thank you to the Kearney Chamber of Commerce and all the tourist group that, that provided that gift is really cool. Um, I also want to give a big shout out. You, I know you guys, some of you camped out, waited. We really appreciate that. But you need to know ESPN E60 has been following us. They're all the way out here because they don't even believe this really goes on. So they're documenting this whole thing. So you see these cameras and all this stuff around. That's <laughs> why so we say there's no place like Nebraska for volleyball. We're, uh, and again, you guys have stepped up. And the spring matches continue to get better and better. And it's just a lot of fun and we're treated like royalty. And thank you to the Kearney staff here. Uh, it's a lot of work to set this up and get all this and set this floor up. And there's a guy here named Jake. Is Jake here? Where's Jake? Jake's back there. He's the man. We need to be buying him dinner tonight. Whatever he wants, gets a couple days off. So. The last thing I want to say is we got a special team. It's going to be a fun year. I hope you guys follow us and get the chance to see us in Devaney. But this is a special group of young women who are working really hard. They're going to give us a great shot. Thank you very much. Go Big Red. Husker fans, show Well, no doubt about that. They, uh, they will give Nebraska another shot. National runner-up. And a little bit of edge to them this year. <laughs> they want to get back there. Definitely. I mean, they left. The, they ended. It was an incredible season. But there's one thing that just didn't happen, and is that championship. So they're coming back, and they are on a mission, and they're working hard. Today we got a first look at some of the hard work that they've been putting mm. in. We've got a chance to see some of the new players that are joining the squad. There'll be a few more joining this summer. And again. I'm so excited, and I'm excited <laughs> for women's sports, yeah. too. What yeah. they have done, as he mentioned, Coach Cook mentioned earlier, that has highlighted oh, where Nebraska, what Nebraska has highlighted, what women's sports can be, and what um, the following and how exciting it is. So it's pretty cool. Well, that'll do it. Nebraska wins the spring game in a sweep from the UNK Health and Sports Center. For Kathy Wieskamp and our entire sports production crew, I'm Larry Putney saying thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you in the fall for more Husker Volleyball. So long from Carnegie.